Imran Khan does not many merit any importance, and uh, if he is wanting to garner that sort of uh, importance towards him, and thereby this is his desperate bid to do so, is it really working? I have with me Major Muhammad Ali Shah as well. Is this is this really working, Major Muhammad Ali Shah? Mega, no, it's not working because Imran Khan is only sitting in the office, and we do not need a certificate from Imran Khan. The whole world knows where India is today. Imran Khan is just a, it's not equated to a clown in India who would praise Pakistan. I don't know who, who would praise, but whoever does, it's the same thing. Imran Khan is doing that, but we do not need any certification from any a uh, person who has no credibility, zero credibility in the world. And he's just taking the office. So Imran Khan, perhaps, is also uh, trying to get his way in into India. Perhaps thinking that we might give, we might welcome him into in India. He is not welcome here. And no one requires Imran Khan to. In fact, when he speaks something, it loses credibility. That's the worst part. See, we all know it. I think perhaps, I think what his strategy must be. I'll tell you, Mega. See, Imran Khan knows if he says something, it will lose credibility. So let me now talk this way. Reverse psychology, but Imran Khan is no one taken seriously. You can laugh at him. The U.S. delegation come when he was he was chair when he was actually the prime minister of Pakistan. The U.S. delegation came. Was Rahul Pindi does not even make a phone call to Imran Khan. How humiliating is that? So and Imran, they say that Hindi is a curse. When the leader's death comes, it goes to the city of the city. So similarly, before he lost his chair, he started singing praises for India at that time. And now he's still doing that. So he no, but, but what is he expecting out of India? Why is he pandering to India? So he is. Uh, uh, he, I don't know what he. He won't even get a tinga. They won't even get a tinga. They, they won't even get uh, one uh, uh, ounce of anything from us. So we are not going to give anything to them. In fact, when the devastating floods happened in uh, Pakistan a few months earlier, that time uh, thousands of people in Pakistan had lost their life. Our Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi, had tweeted. Just as a humanitarian gesture, explaining the condoling, uh, just passing his condolence to those people. Shahbaz Sharif was sitting on Twitter. Perhaps I think that's all he does all day. He was sitting, and that very second, he was waiting for our prime minister's tweet. He he replied back, saying, "We do not need any help from India." Who is giving them help in the first place? It was a large-hearted gesture on our prime minister's part to tweet that. So I think these people are incorrigible, Mega. They will never improve. Let them just go to hell. That's all I care. Okay, all right. So that was some strong commentary coming in from you, Mr. Muhammad Ali Shah. How do we, you know, how do we tackle the snake in our backyard? And perhaps Pakistan is not even our worry because we have bigger fish to fry. There's China that is actually uh, supporting and funding Pakistan, and 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 if China's, uh, you know, support and assistance is cut, we'll not have to worry so much about Pakistan. And then we can tackle the U.S.-Pakistan relationship with with our growing stature in the world. Okay, mega. But if that's the case, you know, I am a little surprised that China has not helped Pakistan at this time of crisis. A friend needs a friend indeed. Even the Turkish ambassador to India has mentioned that he that in, in Turkish as, as well. He tweeted that China hasn't helped them. The Middle East nation hasn't, hasn't helped Pakistan. So Pakistan is completely isolated, completely gone. In fact, uh, Adam Party, in fact, one of the Pakistan senators, Khan's party, he even praised Amir Chief. So I'll thank my panelists for joining me on the telecast.